I'm Ben from Mimbarium, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Learn-3.0 to Active Campaign using Mimbarium. Meaning, whenever a student completes a course, lesson, or a quiz, you can trigger an action to happen inside of Active Campaign. Before we jump in, let's review what exactly you'll need to get started. First, you'll need a WordPress site. The second thing you'll need is Mimbarium for Active Campaign installed and activated on that site. And lastly, you'll need Learn-3.0 or higher installed and activated. It's also good if you have some basic knowledge about WordPress and LearnDash already, but if not, I'll try to explain as much as I can in this video. I also want to mention I've included a link below this video detailing the differences between Mimbarium and LearnDash, and if you even need to use an LMS plugin such as LearnDash. With all that being said, here's what we'll cover in this video. First, we'll talk about the benefits and the ways of using the integration. I'm also going to cover how you build a course inside of LearnDash. I'm then going to cover the enrollment settings, and lastly, we'll talk about automation options, the core of the integration. One of the major features in using the integration is the automation options, like I just mentioned. Membrane for Active Campaign allows you to apply tags or trigger automations in Active Campaign when a user completes a course, lesson, or a quiz. You can use these triggers to do a variety of things. For example, with this integration, you can implement things such as reminder emails to let students know how to come back and finish the course. You can have special offers when a course has been completed to sell them another course. And advanced progress tracking and automations limited only by how much time you want to spend building things out. And these are just some of the benefits of using the integration. Now let's talk about how to actually build out a course in LearnDash. For this demonstration, I'll build a simple course. We're going to start by going to LearnDash in Courses. Here, we'll create our course by pressing the Add New button. Now, we're taken to a page where we can start putting in our course information. We'll add a course title here and a short description of the course. Now, this isn't where we put all of our lesson content. That's done in a few minutes. Now, we can head over to the Builder tab up here at the top, and you'll notice we have no course content on this page. To create lessons and quizzes, we'll click the New Lesson button. Enter a title for the lesson, and then Add Lesson on the right. After the lesson has been added, we can create a quiz under the lesson. We do this by clicking the drop-down on the right and then clicking New Quiz. Enter a title for the new quiz and then press Add Quiz. You'll repeat these steps to build out your entire course framework. To actually add the content to your lessons and quizzes, you'll want to edit them. You can do this quickly and simply by clicking the Edit button on the right when you hover over one of the items in the list. Once you click that, you'll be taken to a page here where you can add any videos, written content, or download links that you need for that particular lesson. And you'll do the same thing for all of your other lessons, topics, and quizzes. Now, once you've added in all your content, head back to the course page so we can protect the course with Membarium and set up the integration. Before we talk about protection and enrollment, we need to understand exactly how each works. When you protect something with Membarium, you're controlling the visibility of that content. When a user doesn't have access, they're typically redirected based on your settings. However, LearnDash has its own sort of protection system called enrollment. In order for a user to have access to a course, they need to be enrolled in that course. Now, there are ways to change that behavior, which we won't cover here. However, you typically don't want to deal with two different protection systems. The first part of that Membarium integration allows us to control LearnDash's enrollment system based on tags. Let me show you how that works now. You see, when you protect your course with a membership level, here in my case, I'll check the box for my student membership, I'll also scroll down and I'll add the student tag here in the auto-enrollment box. This means that when a user has access through Membarium, they'd also get enrolled into the course. Now, if I didn't include that student tag in the auto-enroll box, the user who had the student membership would be allowed through Membarium, but they'd be blocked by LearnDash. When you're setting this up for your course, make sure that if you have multiple membership levels checked, you also add the tag for each level in this box. Now, there is one last setting we need to change for the course to ensure this system works as we want. Up at the top, go to the Settings tab here on the course page, and then scroll down until you see the Access Settings section. Select the Closed option right here. Now this option ensures that the enrollment process and protection is fully controlled by Membarium, which allows you to automate the entire process. Now that we've created the course, we've protected it, and set up the enrollment options, it's time to look at the automation features Membarium introduces. Here in the same box as the auto-enroll setup, you'll find some other settings. The options you see will change depending on what part of the course you're editing. For instance, you'll see additional options on the quiz and lesson pages when compared to the course page here. On the course page, though, we have options to run the automation, apply a tag, and at the bottom, configure a redirect. 
When set up, these actions will apply when the user completes the course. That happens when they mark the last step in the course as complete. That's usually by pressing the Mark Complete button on a lesson or a quiz. Now, depending on your needs, the Apply Tag option will be the most utilized feature. By applying tags, you're creating a record inside of Active Campaign of the user's activity within the course. You can do many things with that data, as I mentioned at the start of this video. Here's a look at the same box on the Lessons page. You can see the options are slightly different since the lessons offer assignments. And here's the box on a quiz page, which is similar to the others, but it gives you the ability to control what happens when the user passes or fails the quiz individually. Now again, all these options are basic to understand and they're simple to implement, but the powerful automations they could trigger are only limited by your needs and the time required to build them in Active Campaign. And with all that being said, that's the entirety of the LearnDash integration. However, it's not close to half of what LearnDash is capable of. LearnDash offers many other features that I didn't cover for the sake of time. If you're interested in learning more, head over to LearnDash's website, that's LearnDash.com, and you can find their documentation and other materials discussing their features. If you're already using LearnDash and you're interested in Membarium, you can sign up for an account by going to activecampaign.membarium.com forward slash pricing. If you're already a member, this integration is already available for you to use. If you have any questions, check out our online documentation. I've linked some below, and if you're still stuck, reach out to our support team by going to membarium.com forward slash support. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.